How many people strive extremely to earn this world, to gather, to pile up this world, day after day, night after night, week after week, year after year, their whole life is to pile and gather. And then after they gathered what they want to gather, death takes them. And they enjoy nothing but a shroud and a piece of cotton. And your living bodies that you are carrying today will become a handful of bones underneath a pile of dirt. This is your reality. Draws near to mankind is their reckoning, is their destruction, yet they turn away in heedlessness. Are you waiting for the hour to confront you, to hit you, to smack you in the face? But it's science is already there. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the major sign to come and hit you? Because there's nothing left but the major signs. Are you waiting for the beast of the earth to come and slap your face or mark your face with the word mu'min or kafir? No tribulation on earth since the creation of Adam will be worse than the tribulation of the Dajjal. The bearer of the horn has placed the trumpet on his lips, waiting for the command to blow the trumpet. He does not even blink his eyes, subhanAllah. To the time he was created, this bearer of the horn is Israfil. He's placed his trumpet on his lips, waiting for the command. The narration mentions that he's scared to even blink his eyelids. Why? Fearing that the command might come. We praise the Almighty Lord for blessing us with this deen, the deen of Islam. We praise the Almighty Lord for blessing us with the two sources of Islam, the only two sources of Islam, the Quran and the Sunnah, two sources full of knowledge and wisdom that shed light in our darkest hours. No other sources are required, are ever needed for all eternity, for they are indeed perfect, excellent and complete the sources of Islam, the Quran and the Sunnah. When a Muslim understands the definition, the meaning of this and he engraves it onto his heart and he allows it to penetrate his soul, he will certainly without any doubt be always in high esteem, happy, content, knowing that nothing or no one can ever, ever crack his faith. Listen to the saying of Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahmatullah Alayhi, reported by Ibn Qayyim, his student, Rahmatullah Alayhi. He said that Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned, What can my enemies do to me? In my breast is both my heaven and my garden. If I travel, they travel with me and they never ever leave me. Imprisonment for me, it is no other than a religious retreat to be slain by my enemies. For me, it is no other than shahada martyrdom in the sake of the Almighty Lord. To be banished, exiled, thrown out of my land is no other than a spiritual journey. Siyaha. What a beautiful saying. If we understood this meaning, nothing can ever bother you in this world. No human can scare you. 
nothing can ever affect you in this life because you know that Islam is the only way for you in this life. How many people strive extremely to earn this world, to gather, to pile up this world? Day after day, night after night, week after week, year after year, their whole life is to pile and gather. And then after they gathered what they want to gather, death takes them and they enjoy nothing. Many of those who saw the beginning of day yet did not see the end of it. Many are those who expected morning but did not live to see it. If only you had known your appointed time, you would wallahi have detested for all the materials. Brothers and sisters, what are we? Who are we? We are nothing but flesh and bones. We are nothing but servants, slaves of the Almighty Lord, of Allah Ta'ala. The one who gave us this life in order to utilize this life, not the way me or you want. No, we are slaves of the one that gave us this ability, who lent us this body that we are carrying in order to utilize it in the way and only way he is pleased with. The day will come when your bones will be bad of its flesh. There will be no more flesh on it. And your living bodies that you are carrying today will become a handful of bones underneath a pile of dirt. This is your reality. The intelligent man for this reflects, contemplates, ponders of his reality. He knows that his time is passing away. Every second that goes is gone. But it will be registered in your record, either for or against you. Our time is melting away, just like a block or cube of ice. But the intelligent man knows and believes that his real success, his only salvation, is to do all the acts that will remove him from the severe punishment of hellfire and thus admit him into eternal bliss of paradise. Isn't this what we want? Isn't this what we're striving for? Only Allah Ta'ala knows our time, dear brothers and sisters. Only the Almighty Lord knows when the hour will come.